I really should have done this video first instead of my Tyler Bozak video because now I'm just like a mess. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna have the Tavares signing in here or in a separate video, so I can kind of just talk all about that. I'll have to decide as we go further on, but right now I'm gonna be talking about UFAs, mainly um, guys that we've picked up and Leafs that have gone to other teams. So Tyler Bozak signs with the Blues, which will make it his first contract not with the Leafs. He's played in the Leafs his entire life, his entire professional career, and so he signed there for three years, $15 million, which is awesome for him. It's going to be so wonderful. It's, it's, he's going to love it because, like he said, he doesn't have to live in a condo downtown anymore. He can get a, a, a house where his family, his wonderful little son, Cannon, and his wife and his new baby daughter, Blake, can live. Don't get me... Oh my god, I'm feeling it. If you guys haven't already seen, I just did a Tyler Bozak thank you video. Uh, couldn't finish it the way I wanted to because, uh, I don't know, like my, eye, my face started leaking or some shit. So I just left it how it was. I have a lot more to say, but maybe in the coming weeks, in the coming months, I'll be able to get it out there. All I can say is St. Louis, you're getting an amazing player. You're going to be so happy with him. And I can't wait to play you guys on October 20th. I'm, I'm counting down the days, okay? Next up, we have JVR, who's going back to Philadelphia, the only team where he's signed a contract with, which is, it's kind of similar to Bozak, how he's been with Toronto all his life. I, although JVR wasn't with Philadelphia all his life, he's only signed contracts with them. First, he was drafted there, and then he signed the deal after that, and then he was moved to the Leafs, like, immediately after, and then the Leafs just sent him back. There. Well, the Leafs didn't do it, but, like, he just went back there right now. And I think, I think that's kind of beautiful. So his deal is for five years at 35 million. And it's kind of great because that only brings him to 34 and he's still in his prime then. And also he, I'm, I'm really proud of him for getting like, it's around $7 million a year. We weren't gonna give him that money. We, we okay, we couldn't even keep him anyway. So I'm, I'm very happy with this move. I think this move was perfect for him. Um, going back to Philadelphia, it's wonderful. And just the money and it, it's just, I love it. It's awesome. I'm, I was sad to see him go but I'm very happy with where he's at now. And you know, it was really funny because right before free agency, I, I did a video on like who I think is gonna go, who I think is gonna stay. And yeah, I know I thought people were gonna leave, but to actually have them all, like all of them gone, the big three UFAs that we had is trippy. So Uncle Leo, Leo Komarov goes to the Islanders, which is funny because we just took a player from them. I don't know if I remember what his name was though. Um, his deal is for four years, $12 million. Now Komarov is a good player who gets under people's skin and yeah he's not maybe the best offensive guy yeah maybe he's not the best defensive guy either but he's he's a good player he's a good overall player he's a good player sorry i just did an impression of phil there so those were our big three ufas obviously they're all gone um next up i have thomas mechanics we only had him for a couple of months he got him i think at the trade deadline and he played the playoffs with us i knew he was a goddamn spy because now he's gone back to montreal for one year I said don't invite him into our fucking team, but whatever. No, he did good for us in the playoffs. But I still said he was a spy. Everyone knew he was going back. And just having the Habs, like, Ugh, inside our dressing room. Blech. No offense to him personally. It's just, like, the jersey and the people behind the organization. All that stuff. So he signed for $2.25 million, But he can get, I think, up to $3.5 million in bonuses and stuff. And Roman Polak went to Dallas. Thank God, because I thought that we were going to get him back again. So I'm so glad he's not here anymore. Nothing against him. Again, nothing against these guys personally. I'm just not a fan of their play. Or in Placanic's case, not a fan of his history. So Polak signs in Dallas for one year, $1.3 million. Buddy, he was getting one here, so he, he got more money there. Good for you. Before we leave this segment of all our UFAs and stuff, signings and all that stuff, I would just like to say thank you to our top three UFAs. Also, the other guys too, thanks. Like, it was a good run this year, whatever. But mainly those core guys because they've been with us for a while and they kind of carried the team before Austin Matthews and all that stuff. Um, Kamara, Bozak, JVR, thank you guys for the time you put in. I know that it's... We're just getting good now and you're leaving now and, and that's kind of sad. That's really sad actually. But it's what's best for the organization and it's not that we don't like you, it's us. It's us, it's not you. I just want to say thank you. I want to extend a thank you from all of us fans for all the years that you gave us. So as for what we got now, we'll, we'll do that segment. This is what we got. I don't know a lot about any of these guys and I hope to learn more about them in the coming months. But really right now, I, I don't even know how to pronounce their name. So first up is Adam Cracknell. Is there other, any other way to say that? I don't know. One year we've signed him to a $650,000 deal. He's a 32-year-old right winger, so that's always good to have. To be honest, I should know how to say this name, but I don't, so I'm going to give you two variations of it. I think this is the right one, Josh Joris, 
but also it could be Josh Yoris. I'm not really sure where he's from or anything, so uh, he is a right wing. I'm pretty sure all three of the guys that we got are all in the same deal, which is one year, 650000 And then we have Jordan Subban, which is P.K. Subban's brother. I think his youngest brother. He's on a two-way contract. He's a defenseman. And again, one year, 650000 Now, the interesting thing about Subban is that he's 23, but he's never played in the NHL. So I'm wondering... Did he just not get the opportunity? Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't get the opportunity that he played with their AHL team. So maybe this is a, a fix to our defense a little bit. And we bring, bring him up, see, see how it goes. And we also signed Martin Mertens into an $800,000 one-year deal, which mm, I guess it's fine. I mean, he did just win the Calder Cup with Marley, so. So basically what we got were depth players because obviously we have to replace some of the guys that we're taking from the Marlies this year. Hopefully Dermot comes up full-time, um, Janssen, stuff like that. So these were definitely needed moves, and I think they were smart with what they did. Okay, and the last guy we got, our last uh, free agent here. Not sure if you heard of him. I might have to do a separate video kind of just detailing, you know, what he's about. Um, John Tavares. Seven years, 77 million. I'm not gonna talk about it here. I just decided right now that I'm gonna make a whole separate video because I don't want I don't want this to be like 40 minutes long. So I'll give you a little gist of it if you seriously don't know what happened. Like if you genuinely just came off some island right now and you're like, where? I know what hockey is, but I don't know who got signed yesterday because this is, you'd have to, I don't know how you'd miss it. Everyone knows that Tavares is on the Leafs. I mean, who is this guy? I don't know, he says he is 27, played for the Islanders or something like that. Um, anyways, if you wanna if you wanna see more about him, I'm doing a separate video because I also have a lot of comments to respond to because I did a reaction video to him signing with us. Oh my god, oh I can't believe he did. Um, but I got a lot of comments being like, "Oh, you stole him from our franchise." Ugh. I got some words for you, so check out that other video. Um, all I have to say about this, if you genuinely just want to know about the deal, I I think it's the deal's fine. He's getting I think 11 million dollars around that each year for a superstar. Thank you very much. Give me the fucking check. I'll sign. It was a hard decision for him to leave there and and come here, but he knows that he's gonna. He has more better chance of getting a Stanley Cup in Toronto, which I thought I would never say, bitch. So I'm happy. Um, that's all I really have to say for right now. If you want to see that video, head on over to it. I'll probably link it. Um, and yeah, that that's all. I, overall, I think for July first, I think that was a good a good day for us. Fun fact, which I'll say again in my other video, this Tavares signing was the biggest free agent signing in Leafs history. So let me know what you guys think of these deals. Let me know what you think of the terms, if the money that we're paying them is right for the guys that we got. Obviously, it's only like not even a million bucks, so it's not a big deal. And let me know what you think about... Uh -huh. our, our UFA is leaving. Oh my god. I'm so sad, but also happy at the same time. How do I feel this much emotion? Um, yeah, let me know what you think of their deals, at least, because I, I'm very happy with what they got, like I'm sure they are. Um, I would not have paid any of that, but I'm, I'm very excited for them.